a great team. Time for the afternoon nap. How boring, complete Flocky. This is Flocky, okay? Snoring and more snoring. So Flocky don't like to sleep. He finds it very boring. Let's play counting animals instead, suggested his cousin Gore. This is Gore. Whoever finds the most of their chosen animal is the winner. We have enough time until the end of nap time. God chose the llama for his animal. So God chose to count the llamas. Okay. I'll take the iguana, said Flocky. I'll choose the mouse, said Pig. This is Pig. Okay. I love chasing them. And I'll take the grasshopper, croak Gruel. This is Gruel, okay? This is Gruel. So they're all going to count their own chosen animals. And whoever counts the most wins. Iguana, iguana, I can see two iguanas, shouted Flocky. Four llamas, exclaimed Gaw, feeling that he had won already. Well, I can only see one grasshopper. Where have they all gone to, said Gru. I can see two mice, said Pig. So they're all finding their animals. Four iguanas, rejoiced, rejoiced Flocky. It's a draw, announced Gru. Quickly, let's count the scores. The grown-ups are waking up. Llamas, counted four. Mice, two. Iguanas. Why is everyone looking over the edge of the cliff? So why is everybody looking over the edge of the cliff? Maybe somebody is in trouble, exclaimed Pig. Let's go and see what is happening. Hey, <coughs> chew. There's a wounded giraffe at the bottom of the gorge. Gorge, that means the valley, okay? Shouted Gru as he landed. How could he have ever ended up there? Asked Flocky. Let's go and help it. What are we waiting for? Shouted Flocky. Go, tell the grown-ups. Pick, Gru, go on ahead. So they're all going to help the, 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 the giraffe that is trapped at the bottom of the gorge. When they arrived, Flocky and Gore looked over the edge of the cliff and saw a small wounded giraffe that was crying. Wounded, that means the giraffe is injured. Come on, we must help it, said Flocky. We could build a lift to bring it back up, said Gore. Everyone will help as best they can. The llamas brought the reeds, the mice stretched the vines, and the iguanas and grasshoppers also got to work. We are forming a great team, Flocky said encouragingly. So they are working together to help the giraffe. On the count of three, announced Gru as he flew over, making sure everyone was ready. A bit more, come on, we are nearly done it, encouraged Flocky. Suddenly, one of the vines broke and the swing was hanging dangerously. So one of the vines broke and so the swing is hanging dangerously. It's very dangerous. We need reinforcement, shouted Pig. So the Pig shouted, we need more help. Fortunately, that means luckily, Flocky's father, the great silverback, arrived. This is Flocky's father. He went down to rescue the little giraffe. What were you looking for down there? He asked. The little giraffe lowered her head and closed her eyes. I slipped, she said, sobbing. Don't worry, we are all going to save you. Oh, poor giraffe. The great silverback glared furiously. That means looked at, looked angrily at the hyenas and vultures that were looking hungrily at the little giraffe. So these are hyenas and vultures and they love to eat animals that are dead or, or they are dying. So this great silverback, which is Flocky's father, look at them angrily like don't you ever dare try to harm the little giraffe. What are you waiting for? Get out of here! They all looked at him in surprise. It was clear that the great silverback was not joking. Soon, the rest of the gorillas arrived, and along with the llamas, mice, grasshoppers, and iguanas, they formed the rescue platoon. Platoon means a group of people. 
Then the mother giraffe arrived. This is the mother giraffe. She was very worried because she had been looking for her baby for quite a while. Now we are all here, rejoiced the great silverback. On the count of three, at last they managed to bring the lift up, creating a huge dust cloud. So they managed to bring the giraffe back up safely. We've done it, shouted Gore and Flocky between jumps and chest thumping. Now we should carry her to the shade, bring fresh water and tender shoots. So bring some water and food for this giraffe. Meanwhile, the wise owl, this is the wise owl, gradually cured the wounds with moss, medicinal plants and other remedies that only he knew. So the owl took some medicine to cure uh, the giraffe injuries, his wounds, okay, those, those wounds that are bleeding. The mother giraffe approached the little one and started licking her on the forehead, ears and eyelids. So the mother's so happy that she, the baby giraffe is back, back with her again. Everyone went to see the little giraffe between jumps, acrobatic flights, croaking and making happy sounds to celebrate. So everybody's celebrating. Now for a bit of a bath, said Pig. You'll see how pretty we'll make you, little giraffe. So... Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rejoice Flocky counting the group of iguanas gathered together with his fingers. Remember, they are still playing the competition who can count the most iguanas or, or grasshopper or mice. So Flocky is counting the iguanas. You have won, said Gore. Say, hey Flocky, you have won so many iguanas. No, it's better than that. We have all won, declared Flocky with great enthusiasm. And as the game referee, I say that this deserves a great party, announced Pig. You are all invited. So, uh, Flocky said all of us have won because they have all helped the little giraffe. So, all of them are winners. The end.